I miss the old days of console gaming. Because as long as I can remember, when you were playing on a console, all you had to do was pop in a cartridge, or later on a disc. It was the same since the Atari 2600 all the way to the PlayStation 2. Sure, there were some minor exceptions. Uh, oftentimes it took quite a bit of work to get an original Nintendo to fire up properly. But by and large, you just had to put the game in and go. But nowadays, on a modern console, you have to wait for a game to install. That takes a good 20-30 minutes. And then once the game's done installing, it starts downloading a patch. And because they cap download speeds on consoles for some goddamn reason, that takes another 20-30 minutes. And what's the deal? Couldn't it have started downloading this during the install so that we could kill two birds with one stone? I know on PC gaming you've always had to install things, but that's not even really true. Because in the early days there were such a thing as uh, PC booter games, where you just had to have the computer off, insert the disc, turn it on with the disc in, just booted right to the game. And that was pretty cool. But that's not the case anymore. Now it doesn't matter if you're on a console or if you're on PC. Installs and patches. The patches are especially annoying. So, I mean, after all, couldn't they actually, I don't know, properly test and finish a game before releasing it? I also miss renting games for your consoles. Admittedly, this isn't actually the consoles or console manufacturers' fault. I mean, they just kind of, video game rentals just went away with the uh, movie rentals, really, so can't really blame this one on that. Incidentally, the fifth and sixth generation of consoles was the best time for renting, because it was after memory cards took over, so you could rent a game and have your progress saved on your own memory card, so if you chose to buy it, you didn't need to start all the way over, because that was really annoying back, you know, in the fourth generation and before. You'd go and rent, you know, Final Fantasy III from the warehouse, and you'd play a good, you know, 20 hours of it on the weekend before school started. And you take the game back, and of course, by the time you got it again next weekend, that save file got erased. Or worse, you'd save up and get the money after you'd invested 60 hours on the rental copy. Only to have to start all the way over at the beginning when you finally got your own copy of that game. You know, it all just comes down to, I miss when gaming on a console wasn't a giant pain in the ass. But it is a pain in the ass now. It's just like using a PC, only you don't have the option to mod your games, generally speaking.